So, first thing we're gonna do, you're gonna wanna run it underneath your, um, the bar here. This is gonna keep it so it winds, uh, winds on straight. So what I like to do is run it through. What I usually do is start with the hole in the peg facing this way down the fretboard. So this way what you're gonna do is run it straight through, okay? Now, this is an easier method of putting the string on the, um, on the post. If you do it this way, you just run it in and then start twisting it down. What I like to do though is a special tie that helps keep the string completely from slipping. It's a little more tricky to do, but once you learn it and get it down well, it really helps to keep it uh, a little more steady. So instead of having the hole going this way, we're gonna have it facing this way. All right, so I'm gonna turn the hole. All right, good. So what we wanna do now is come in on the inside, okay? This, is, this would be the outside coming in this way. We're gonna to wanna to come in on the inside. So, what we do is come in this way. All right, and make sure you're under your guide. Now, before you tighten things down, I'm gonna zoom out here. If you could see, I wanna leave a bunch of slack in my string, okay? This is to be, to make it so that we have enough string to wind around the peg a few times, all right? You don't wanna tighten this all the way up and then start turning it because you're not gonna have any room for it to, to tighten down. So what I like to do is usually, if you can see this angle, I'll keep my finger, the tip of my first finger on the nut there, and then with these fingers, just pull up enough slack to maybe give you, I don't know, maybe four or five inches of extra string, because that's what's gonna wrap around the top, okay? All right, so I'm gonna zoom back in here so you can see what I do with the tie. All right, now, this is a little tricky at first, but here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take the string after you run it through this way, and then you're gonna come back around this way, clockwise, around the peg, okay? And then I'm gonna fish this string underneath the old one. So it's gonna go underneath the peg, okay? Now with this finger, I'm gonna grab it and pull it tight. All right? Okay, so after I get it nice and tight, what I'm gonna do is come back up over the string and back around. All right, one more time. I'm underneath, I'm gonna bring the string up on top of it and then turn it really hard so that it kinks the string. And now if you look at, when I tighten this down, it's gonna lock this string in place so it won't slip, okay? So now at this point, I want to figure out what I did with my peg winder, which, I don't know. Anyways, so now what you wanna do with this is turn this down and start tightening it. Now you'll feel the slack in your fingers. While I'm doing this, I'm keeping, let me zoom out for you. So I'm keeping the tension tight with my fingers like this as I turn it. All right. So, I'll start feeling it tighten down underneath my fingers. You just wanna get it to a certain level where if I let go, that it starts tightening up, okay? Now, you don't have to be exact with it and don't worry about where the tuning's at. We're gonna check the tuning in one second. So just get it so that it's tightened and that it won't slip, okay? Good. Now what I like to do is cut this excess here because we really don't need this. So I pretty much cut it right to the post because having excess string, you could usually cut yourself pretty easily on it. So now we got the string on there. And what we want to do now is tune it up. So I got my cord right here. Get this so you could see it. All right. So 
On Floyd Rose guitars, you have your regular tuning keys up on the headstock here. Okay, and then we also have fine tuning tuners on the back here. All right, so these you want to kind of set in the middle. These are going to be after you tighten it all up. So what I want to do here with these ones is just kind of unscrew them to the point where they're in the middle. You could go high or low, but you want to keep them right in the middle to leave you some leeway if you need to loosen it or tighten these. So make sure these are all pretty much in the middle before you tighten down the string. So now the string's on, we got our tuner on. Now this is just a regular chromatic tuner. Uh, so what you want to be careful of with a tuner like this is that it's going to tell you what string or what note you're tuned to. So you got to make sure you know what string you're tuning and make sure you tune it up to that pitch, all right? So, let's just get it so you can see it here. Cool. So, if we hit the string here, make sure your volume's up on the guitar. Okay, so I'm at D, so I just want to keep going up until we get to E. Now again, because you left all the other strings on, uh, the tension, once you get it to E, should pretty much set the string to where it needs to be. Okay, so I do like to check the A string too. Get that right on. Okay, cool. So my E string is on, and um, that's pretty much it for that string. We're going to use the same process for every other string. So I'm going to do a couple more of these, and uh, we'll check back in to uh, make sure you're good to go. But it's the same process for every string. What I like to do is leave the clamps down on the nut, leave them off until we get all the new strings on. We're gonna do a little bending um, and stretching um, technique to keep the strings, or to make the strings loosen up. New strings like to bend a lot, so once we uh, do some, some kind of pulling techniques on them, we'll get them so that they shouldn't slip on you once you tighten it down. So leave these off as you're working, and then we'll check back in with you when we get all the other strings done. All right, so we'll be back in a sec.